Hi boys and girls, welcome to another e-learning day. Um, today for math, we are going to be reviewing our coins and how much they're worth. And then we are going to do a couple practice problems together. And then I have three problems for you to do on your own in your e-learning journal. Um, now in my class, we have a little song that we sing to help remember these. So I'm gonna go over that with you. If you know it, sing along. If not, you can listen to it and hopefully you pick it up quickly. So we have quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. That's just something we like to do to help us remember what the coins are worth. So now, when we start adding our coins, we have to try to pick out which one is worth the most, and then we start with that one. And I just have some fake money here. So if I have one nickel, and three pennies, we know that the nickel is worth more because just like our song said, the nickel's worth five cents. So what we do is we start with a five, and then since pennies are one, we just count one more each time. So you start with five, and then one more than five is six, seven, eight. So we would say that we have eight cents. Now to write eight cents, I'm gonna show you on our little sign here. You can either write the number eight and then the cent sign, which is a C with a line through it, or if we do the dollar symbol, it's an S with two lines, we have zero dollars, and then we only have eight cents. So we do zero, eight. So that's another way we could write it. Usually we start with this one, and once we work our way up to adding dollars, we'll go over to this way. So for the other examples, I'm just gonna show you with this one. Okay, so let's do another example. So now we have, let me get this off here. So now you have a dime, a nickel, and now we have four pennies. Okay, so the pennies are worth one, the nickel's worth five, and the dime's worth 10. Which one of those numbers are the greatest? Right, the dime. 10 is greater. So you start with 10, and then we know next will be the nickel. So the nickel's worth five, so we have to count on five more from the 10. So you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So your dime and your nickel make 15. And then we go on to our pennies, which are worth one, so we count on one each time. So you start with 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we would say we have 19 cents. So when I went to write that, I would write the number 19 and then our cent sign, which is a C with a line through it. So now in your e-learning journal, I have two problems down here that are already set for you. And then for the third one, I want you to create a problem of your own and draw it in your e-learning journal. Now when you do it, you can draw circles and you can put a D in the middle for dimes, a P for pennies, an N for nickel, and if you want to, if you know how to do that, you can add quarters and you can do a Q for quarter. Um, in my examples, I'm only using dimes, nickels, and pennies for your um, assignment here. So if we look down here, you can see that. Number one is two dimes and three pennies. Number two is four nickels and three pennies. And then number three, there's nothing there because that's the one I want you to do on your own. So number these in your e-learning journal, one, two, and three. For number one, find out how much you have with two dimes and three pennies. Number two, find out how much you have with four nickels and three pennies. And then number three, create one of your own and we can go over those when we come back. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today and I hope you have a great rest of your day.